Hi guys, it's Half. I am back again and this is going to be the breast cancer awareness tag that was started by Mrs. Cronel. If you don't know who Mrs. Cronel is, you should. She will be listed down below. As will a few other people I know who have actually done this tag, who are part of like this little group thing that we have on um, Instagram and YouTube. We do lots of collaborations together. Um, if uh, Mrs. Cronel was diagnosed with breast cancer before Christmas, after Christmas, around that time, um, and as a result, there is kind of like that, you know, you kind of, um, you become more aware of it, and you want to do things to help the cause, basically. So, she decided to start this tag, um, which was picking pink nail polishes for each season, um, plus a one for, um, like, Christmas time. Um, festive time. Uh, then I saw uh, Claire Gray do hers. She of course will be listed down below. Um, and she actually did 12 instead of only doing 5, which Miss Cronel did. I think mainly because Mrs. Cronel probably doesn't have a whole lot of pink. It's not really her, like she loves pink, but she doesn't have a lot of pink nail polish from what I worked out. Um, but then neither does Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Gray. Um, Claire Gray. Uh, however, I have lots of them. So 12 seemed like a really good idea for me. Plus, I wanted to add a little added extra to it. Mrs. Cronel on, on Instagram has a monthly nail art challenge where she, this year it's wildlife themed, so animal themed. Last year it was a lot of mystical animals and I didn't really participate in that last year. I didn't really do a lot of nail art last year, quite honestly. Um, I did a bit, but not anywhere near as much as I had like the year before that. So I wanted to do more of that this year, and I thought this is a really good way of combining the two. So today I'm going to show you the 12 polishes that I will be wearing, one each month. And each month it will be um, done with a particular animal nail art that is on her list. So each month you'll be able to go on Instagram, which of course is always linked down below, um, and see the nail art that I do on those nails. Now it is February already, and I have already done my January one, which was bare. Um, so when I show you that polish, I'll show you a picture of it. Um, you of course can go and see it on my Instagram anytime you like. Um, I will also mention, because it's probably going to become seriously obvious in a second, it's really hot here in Australia. Um, has been for the last couple of weeks. We've had a couple of days break and then it's come back again. Of course I decided to film and it's getting like really really hot. It's half past three in the afternoon and it's, um, and luckily the sun is mostly over the other side of the house, not in front of my window, but it's still pretty hot. So I've got the fan over there. Um, I have my hand fan. Yeah, so if you see sweat running down my face, that is why, it's because it's kind of hot. And I literally have a win a big window here, floor to ceiling here, and here. Um, and, you yeah, know, normally the blinds are down, but this blind is not down at the moment. So, <laughs> I've also had my hair done. Um, I'm not wearing any nail polish, and my nails are tinted blue because of my hair. So, um, yeah, I'm a great nail polish YouTuber. I'm not wearing nail polish at the moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I was wearing nail polish, but I took it off yesterday, so there you go. Um, okay, so let's just get into this. I've got 12 polishes to get through. So um, these polishes were not necessarily picked because they're my favourite or because I think they're necessarily seasonally appropriate. Um, they were, a lot of them were picked a lot for their names um, and how they uh, make me feel or how their name correlates to the particular month in which I'm going to wear them. So the first one, which I've already worn, is Razzle Dazzle Rose from the Crayola Collection by Sally Hansen. This is actually a new polish, so for January it seemed appropriate to use a new polish. This one hadn't actually even been swatched before. Um, it's in my swatchy bin to be swatched. So, uh, yeah, this is a Razzle Dazzle Rose. For February, 
this month, which is my birthday month, we have Pink Pineapple from Revlon, their perfumery line. It's got pineapple in the title. Of course it's going to be the February one, because me and pineapples. Um, it's not the most pineapple-y smell. It's not the best nail polish in the world. It's actually kind of crap, but it fitted the kind of mood I was going for. Um, this will have either a dog or a cat or both on it at some stage this month. So this is Pink Pineapple from Revlon. For March we have Love and Care from Essence. I picked this because love and care is what you need to give to people who are going through a hard time or are going through difficult stuff and that is why I picked this one because I thought the name was appropriate for a breast cancer awareness. Um, nail polish. This is going to have a lamb or a sheep or both on it sometime in March. So this is Love and Care from Essence. For April we have Hop Pink from Ultra 3. This was from their Easter collection from several years ago. Easter is in April this year so I thought that was appropriate and it's pink and it's got little black flecks in it. It's like very cute. Um, this is going to have a rabbit on it sometime in April. So this is Hop Pink from Ultra 3. For May we have Vivid Rose from Maybelline Color Show. This uh, May is my mum's birthday month. It's also Mother's Day in Australia um, and my mum likes roses. She doesn't necessarily like pink but she likes roses. Um, so that's partly why I picked this. Um, and the animal is actually elephant, which is funny because it's one of my mom's favorite animals. Um, so yeah, this will get an elephant on it sometime in May. For June, we have Strawberry Cream Brulee from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. It's a very soft pink. Kind of looks like what strawberry cheesecake would look like. Um, I just really like this one. Um, and I like this really kind of soft pink. And of course June is like winter in Australia. Um, so kind of like soft colours like this are kind of appropriate I guess. Um, this is going to have a zebra or a horse on it. It might just have zebra print on it. <laughs> Not very good at drawing horses. So um, yeah. But this is Strawberry Cream Brulee from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. For July we have Rose Cashmere from L'Oreal. This is one of my favourite kind of dusky, rosy nude nail polishes. I only bought it last year but I really really like it. I like the shade of it. Um, it's kind of muted, good winter sort of colour. Mind you, I would wear hot pink in winter and not even think twice about it. But uh, This is going to have a flamingo on it, which will be hot pink probably. Um, yeah, so this is Rose Cashmere from L'Oreal. This one for August is called Look At Me by MUD. Um, <laughs> this is not seasonally um, appropriate at all for August, um, but it, it's just got such a good name. Look at me, look at me. Um, I'm not sure how the nail art is going to go on this one because the nail art is whale or ocean life. But I'm sure it will be interesting. I will find a way around it. Um, but yeah, this is Look At Me by MUD. For September I have a more American, Northern Hemisphere, seasonally appropriate type of nail polish. This is called Sugar and Spice from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. It is a holographic um, rose kind of colour. But you know, sugar and spice, pumpkin spice, it works. Um, yeah, which is why I picked this one. So this is Sugar and Spice from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. For October, which is, um, you know, spooky month, I picked this one from BYS. This is Ice Cream Use Cream. It's actually what they call a speckled nail polish. It has red speckles in it. Impossible to see at the moment. Um, but it does have red speckles in it. It's like super cute, slightly textured. Um, I thought it was a good, appropriate polish for Spooky Month. Um, the nail art, uh, I forgot to tell you, for Sugar and Spice, the nail art will be Tiger or Leopard. Again, that might just be the print. Um, this is, uh, this one will have bats on it because Spooky Month. Uh, yeah, so this is Ice Cream Use Cream from BYS. 
for November, which is spring in Australia, or the end of spring, the start of almost summer, and it'll probably be like this. This is called Hot Spring. <laughs> this is a fairly dark, almost purpley pink. Um, I actually really like this. So this uh, will have a fox or a wolf on it. Um, yeah, so this is Hot Spring from Ultra 3. And for December, we have from Essence Instant Party because that's what they do in December. It's a party, apparently. I don't, but some people do. Um, yeah, super duper bright pink. This is going to have a deer or a stag on it sometime in December. So, this is Instant Party from Essence. So those are my 12 polishes and the nail art that will appear on them at some stage during the course of this year. I will, at the end of the year, do a compilation video showing you all of the nail arts for the whole of the year. So I hope you know, subscribe so that you're around when that actually happens. Um, don't forget to go and check out Mrs. Cronin down below, as well as the other ladies that I've listed who I know have already done this particular tag. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Give me a thumbs up if you like nail polished up videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.